Scam alert! Scam alert! We, we got, got scammed! Ah! Welcome back, gamers, to another incredible, exciting, fantastic, scammed episode of Comic Games! Ah! If you're new to the show, I'm Adam. I'm Zach, and this is Princess Aurora Highness, doing a Princess Wave, so you do too. Bow and respect, and of course, there's the Coco Dog in Adam's lap. Okay. Oh, and now on this creature. There's what you. the heck? There she, she is. She loves being a video. All right, guys. So today is Saturday. I know we alluded to this a little while ago that uh, we recently got scammed on eBay. And uh, we thought we'd share the experience with you because it, it had some kind of like strange outcomes. To Definitely to start with. Some really weird outcomes. Some, some things that I didn't think would, would happen that way. And then it did happen. And it was really frustrating. And uh, we thought we'd kind of share with you guys in case you guys run into similar situations. And, uh, you know, it just... It's a good idea to sometimes, you know, vent a little yes. bit, and uh, you guys are good people to vent to, so uh, we'd like to share this experience with all of you, and uh, Zach would also like to share something else with all of you. Before we get into this experience, you won't get scammed doing this. No, you never get scammed in a drink unless you buy it on Amazon, and you might or might not get scammed. Who knows? We'll find out <laughs> later. But uh, this is a Rise Brewing Company Oat Milk Mocha Nitro Cold Brew Coffee, so it might blow up oh, my oh, hand. I like the oat milk. It's dairy yeah. free. I like oat milk. It's pretty good. Oh yes, dairy like free, hardy. plant powered, all this stuff. This is what it looks like. And if you had my same taste buds, this is what it tastes like. Nitro and sounds like. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. It's really smooth. Okay, I like it. I like it. Rise up, guys. Rise up to the occasion. All right. All right. Let's get back to the scam, guys. We got got some scam action going on around here. So. It started out, this is how the whole thing takes place. Uh, we're selling some slabs on eBay, and we do it a bunch of different ways. Sometimes we do some buy now, sometimes we do some auctions, depending mm -hmm. on how quickly you want to move some stuff. But in this in this uh, occasion, we had multiple slabs listed on eBay in auction. And uh, there was two slabs that got sold mm -hmm. separately, and uh, the person won these two slabs and did some combined shipping at them in, and... What was the slabs that, that we had going on there, Zach? So we had an Iron Man 12, the Raza variant, and a CGC 9.8. And we also had the Wolverine Origins 1, Quesada Sketch variant, a 9.8. Yeah, they are two decent books, nothing crazy. Yeah, and then what was the, the, the final price on those two that we went for? The final price that I got from it was $81, and maybe a couple extra dollars above that. But yeah, they ended up having to pay a total of 120 because of taxes and shipping and all that stuff, and eBay throws in the fees. But, you know, those that's eBay. Those, those fee fees. So, so I uh, packaged the books off, shipped them off to the customer. Um, they received them, you know, in due time. I think a few days few days later or so. And uh, we get a customer return notice on eBay. And well, how did that go, Zach? Well, which you get those, we, you get those sometimes. You know, customer yeah. return notice happen. And you got, you know, you got to take care of your customers. So you sometimes if they're all on up and up, they send you a personalized email, you know, personalized email email through eBay, right? And they it's like, hey, I had some issues. What can you do for me? And usually you give them like a, you know, discount and give them some money back. You know, you want to be all on the up and up. Or if they don't want the books anymore, if they got too damaged, you just have them return it and you know give them back their money. No harm, no foul, right? Well, this person did a direct, hey. Requesting a return showed some really really bad pictures of them. So I'm like, okay, whatever I'll return them figure out what's wrong with them fix them probably sell them for more no big deal So I buy the shipping label through eBay and I send it to them And weirdly enough, right? I already had one red flag one They kind of went out of the order and the pictures were really bad. And the reason really they said it was because of scuffs, right? The, scuffs. The, the the slabs had scuffs on them. The slabs have scuffs. Which is scuffs. reasonable. You know, some people some people are don't want scuffs on their yeah. slabs, and that's understandable, you know? Okay. Yeah. I, I mean, the thing is that real was a red flag was that the pictures were really bad. So, all right. I sent them the, e the label. eBay says it's sent to them. They'll get it directly, right? I get a message a couple of days later. Say, hey, give me my refund. It's like... It's like, give me my refund and send me a shipping label. It's like, I did send you a shipping label. So there's already something weird about that, right? So I messed up, like, hey, I already sent the shipping label. I showed them a picture. It's like, hey, you have it. You just have to figure out where it is. Yeah. Like, and it's pretty easy. It's in your messages. 
it's super easy for you to use eBay. You'll see it in an instant. So, uh, so they uh, shipped the package back, which uh, should have contained the uh, slabs, and this is where kind of the scam starts. And uh, get the, the package back, and this is what it looked like when they returned the uh, the box to us. So standard okay. standard yeah. box. It's actually the same box. It's, right? No, yeah. actually, it's a little different. It's a smaller oh. box, and that came gave me like a little bit of pause because. Okay. Also, it's a lot harder to fit safely a slab book in there. So, open it up, I immediately notice something's wrong. Yeah, that doesn't look but like two slabs. That doesn't look like two slabs. I mean, I like the thick uh, cardboard, but yeah. And then the bubble wrap is like, what the heck is this? That's what they sent me back. The two raw books, it was supposed to be two slab books. And then... <laughs> It's like what the what the heck is this? What is this crap? Yeah. I'm like, what the Is that a two ten? No, I'm just kidding. Man, <laughs> it's, it's a man. That was a two oh, ten. Man. At least they sent back like a decent cover. Yeah, so book. um, you know, and that like this took place, this happened, and uh you know, you're thinking like, okay, you know, it's, it's not the end of the world, just contact eBay, let them know like Send them the pictures, like, hey, we got this returns, two return slabs back. This is what the the buyer sent us. You know, we'd like to reverse the um, the refund, make sure the refund gets reversed. And, you know, we talked about it. We waited a day, and I'm like, there was really, like, no, we were, like, all okay about it. Everything was like, hey, nothing's, you know, it sucks that this happened, but mm -hmm. there's no way that eBay is not going to, like, side with us. So mm -hmm. we waited a day, and then what happens, Zach? They sided with the buyer. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what? Yep. I even sent them pictures and everything, and we have good feedback, and we, the account has been established since 2001. I mean, we've been part of eBay pretty close to the beginning. Pretty close. So it's like, what the heck, eBay? Yeah, super, super frustrating. That like That's what threw me off a lot. The biggest thing with all this was like, we didn't do anything wrong, and then eBay sided with with the buyer and actually took the money back out of our account and, and gave it to the buyer. Yeah. So, um, so just, just crazy, just crazy stuff. Um, little bit of update from when we, you know, originally we're going to make this video. Uh, we, uh, did appeal one of the books so far mm -hmm. and then out of nowhere, eBay decided to side back again with us on one of the books. We're still waiting to hear back yeah. on the second book. Cause it was, Two separate books yeah. that were combined in one yeah. shipping. It's a little confusing. It's strange, though, because they didn't really ask for any more information about it. They just were like, okay, now we're siding with you because you made the appeal. Well, I also signed an affidavit saying that, hey, this is legit. So if I lied about it, or, yeah. I, I mean, I could get in trouble. So, so it's like, what the heck? Yeah, so um, just a couple of recommendations for you guys in case this happens to any of you. And Princess had some really good recommendations. Yes. And uh, what Very were they, smart. Zach? So, there's a couple things that you can do above that. You can file a police report, mm -hmm. right? And then you tell eBay that you uh, filed for a police report, and then they tend to give you another thing. Of, you know, tend to give your money back. They might eat some of it, right? But that's one way you can do it. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, really good way. Like, a lot of times, if you know, if you file a police report, then, like, you can't really, you shouldn't be lying to the police. And I think eBay respects that a little bit more, mm -hmm. so... Just a weird thing. I just it just blew my mind that they sided with the buyer on this, where it was like clearly yes. that they were scamming us, and then it just took you know a little bit more to get it fixed. But strange thing, um, you know, we'll we'll keep you guys informed on the second book. Maybe let you guys know on a Wednesday live show what that came about. But you know, a we little thing from you guys. We'd love to hear from anybody in the community any scams that you guys have right. got scammed on that anybody can learn from on eBay or any other kind of form of thing. You know, it's a, it's, a, it's a sad thing when this happens in the community because I tend to trust most of the comic book people are, yeah. are good people. Yes. You know, most of you guys are all good people. So um, so it's hard when, when this says, few of you are bad apples, but most of you are good. <laughs> right. Most of you are good people out Take there. It. But, um, you know, it, it's tough. When we originally told you, talked about this on that Wednesday, we had not heard back about that appeal. Right. So right. a little bit of redemption on this, but it was it was hurtful for a little while. For sure. Right. Yeah. And just real quickly, the, the person's name was uh, Stephanie Peavy. And it was like... We'll list, we'll list the name up Steph, here in case you guys ever get... Steph, Steph 60 or something yeah. like that. And another thing is, I think you should record opening up your returns. 
Yeah. And then you got a video thing, and you can send that to eBay. And like, hey, it obviously wasn't open. You opened it. Hey, this is exactly. Yeah, and you can make you, you can even make recordings of ex if you're shipping out expensive books, you can make recordings of yourself shipping them out too. Just make sure that the things don't leave the camera view while you're doing it. That's, That's one of those important things. Yeah. So you know what also is really important. If you guys hit the subscribe button and the like button, the notification bell, and all that good stuff, I know we won't scam you. So um, this was yeah, you know, kind of a rough rough episode to yes. do to talk about the scam, but um, we appreciate all of you guys. So leave any comments down below, like we said. And Zach, you got anything extra? Yeah, sure. How you do that is you got to be very careful selling high-end books because it happens with a high-end book, then it's even more stressful to figure out. And you might be thinking about busting some kneecaps, you know? You know, you're so, you sell a Hulk 21, they try to pull this crap, I'm going to go smash out on your car. Watch out. Yeah, luckily it's only $81. $81. Yeah, otherwise it would have been, yeah, you know. It would be like, okay, I'm going to your house now. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> Until we see you next time, stay safe there. Don't get scammed. And remember, get always get those games. Get them. Every single one. <laughs>